Hello, I'm David Brown with Berkeley Nucleonics, and today we're talking about 940 StreamView, the latest software package and instrument upgrade for the SAM 940. We're really excited about this new feature set because it allows users in remote locations to wirelessly transmit the count rates, both gamma and dose rate, back to a network over Wi-Fi, and a manager in a dif different location could analyze the data or the spectrum uh, and support the uh, immediate needs of the, the team that's on the scene. I'll show you how it works. This is our SAM isotope identifier, the 940. Today we're using a 3x3 sodium iodide, gamma, and neutron detector. The wireless adapter is here, and this is a power switch just for the wireless. So we have our regular power switch for the instrument and a power switch for the wireless. The wireless is right now an 802.11 standard Wi-Fi connection and gives, reduces the battery life by about one hour. So we're specifying seven hours of uninterrupted use with the wireless feature on. With the wireless feature on, we're able to stream the data from the instrument to a software application on the computer. This is the, called uh, StreamView, 940 StreamView. And you see here we have a serial or IP connection. You simply put your IP address in the slot and connect to the instrument. Right now what we're looking at is background gamma counts in the uh, uh, radial uh, odometer setting here. We also have an indicator for neutron counts per second and dose rate. Now background in our area here is quite low a couple hundred uh, gamma counts per second. We uh, can introduce now a source. I'll put my source on the detector and we see right away that the uh, both on the instrument and the computer application the count rate shoots way up. Uh, in this case I think we've got the speaker muted. The alarm both on the computer and on the instrument is fully independent so we can adjust the alarm volume through the speakers or simply mute the alarm in the application. On the instrument of course I've got the alarm muted but we can turn the alarm back on as well on the 940 by going into the menu and coming down to the speaker mute and there's that alarm. I'll leave that muted for the purpose of this video. Now, as you're monitoring, you're streaming your live data, you're, you're seeing the gamma counts per second. Uh, let me go ahead and turn on the alarm here. And this is a window here. The window here is for adjusting the alarm threshold. So if I want to adjust the alarm threshold here to, say, 3,000 uh, gamma counts per second, and I'm also alarming on dose rate, so we'll adjust the dose rate to say 50. Now we've turned off, we've, we've increased the threshold for alarm. Uh, to adjust the neutron count per second alarm, you click here on the neutron area, and we've got it set very low because we want to be alarmed if there's any indication of neutrons. Uh, in this case, we've got the neutron count set for one count per second as an alarm threshold. Now, Back to the instrument, the user's out in the field or in a facility, maybe a waste facility, a storage facility, you get some counts above background, the next step would be to do an identification. So it's already asking you to identify, we'll say yes, and we see the peaks, uh, the algorithm now is processing the data and uh, trying to determine which isotopes we have. While the instrument is processing the data, a message is shown on our view 940 stream view which indicates that an isotope identification is in process and to you know for, for the user to wait okay this will be done in three seconds once the SAM is done doing the analysis the spectrum and all the correlating data is immediately sent to the user over the Wi-Fi network is very useful for an expert in a remote location to view data in real time and support the first responder or the inspector who maybe doesn't have the spectroscopic experience to analyze 
uh, more complex spectrum or multiple sources or shielded sources. So we like this feature set because you don't lose battery life, you become a wireless instrument, you feed the data to your management team. Uh, the reports of course are all saved on the CF card as well, which is tucked away here in the, on the, under the flat, under the, in the compartment, but you also have your data uh, streamed out to the network. The range on this unit is 100 meters, and you would need some access to the local Wi-Fi network to read the data. The antenna is an internal antenna, but it does not interfere with the isotope identification capabilities of the instrument. If you'd like more information, visit our website or give us a call. We'd be happy to talk to you about this feature set. We have a variety of cabling options, detector brackets, housings, shielding, and a lot of nice accessories to make your SAM 940 uh, fit whatever application you have. So I'm going to mute the alarm and mute myself. Thank you for paying attention and uh, let us know how we can help. Goodbye.